Di Makungotan has the basketball. Bola na punta dito kay JL Capulo. Vinoya coming off that stellar outing against Perpetual. Kapulong, birthday boy, first attempt. Malakas. Oh. Alam naman natin, napupunta sa poste si JL Kapulong, pero automatic eh. Parang uh, Alan Liwag, pag pinasahan sa poste, sa zone up, yung depensa. Kaya napilitan si JL na tira yung napakahirap na jumper na yun. So I'm looking at the bench of San Sebastian. I don't see Paeng Are either, Coach Hammer. Uh -huh. We'll see kung anong update sa atin mamaya. Strange times in a must-win situation. With Noya underneath. Na depensa ni Felebrico. TJ Felebrico ha, vastly improved in this season. Oh, Defensively yeah. and offensively. And without Paeng Are, you know, majority of the shot attempts are gonna go to that man, number 11, Raymart Escobedo. Kasi minsan kahit nandyan si Paeng Are, talagang uh, gagawa at gagawa pa rin ang paraan eh. Escobedo. Good pass. And he is drawing a lot of attention. A sneaky good game to Anton. Both teams are fighting for their NCAA chances and both teams playing up tempo. So magraratratan to tsaka highly physical. And that ball going straight to one of the members of the pep squad. All right, from where speak. All right, let's get our first court side report from Dice of Galpo. Through struggle comes strength. This has been the story for the Araliano Chiefs after their first back-to-back -back win of the season. Kwento nga sa akin itong si Coach Chico Malabag ay talagang nahubot, nahubog raw ang kanyang kupunan sa mga pagkatalo nila during the first round. Kaya naman this time around, all they have to do is to go back to the basics and minimize unnecessary errors. And speaking of going back to the basics, ito rin daw ang reminder of his dad to one of the players who stepped up for the Chiefs in their last game, Maverick Vinoya, who shared with me that he feels blessed for this chance, lalo na his dad played for the NCAA in college and ironically he played for the opposing team the San Sebastian Golden Stags and while we're at it Anton and Coach Hammer quick update the Stags will be missing the services of their ace Paeng Are due to an apparent right knee injury all for part side Anton and Coach Hammer oh that's a big development so I found Are he's sitting on the back of the uh -huh. bench in uh, street clothes like a black street shirt clothes <laughs> Pintap ng kwintas eh. Ongotas. Pero si Ongotas ang laki ng in-improve niya. Playing a little bit more in control this season. Tapos ang lakas kumuha ng offensive rebound, hindi humihinto. And he is optimistically listed at 6-1. Grabe ito maglaro. And T-Mac right on cue. Coming up with a steal. And fast break finish. No way you can chase him. Saka effort player si Ongotan, hindi nagbabago. Kahit na he had multiple games that he was the best scorer of this squad, talagang alam niya na yun yung buhunan niya, isa pang effort player. CJ Pelebrico. 8-4 in favor of San Sebastian. Basti. The map. JL. Basic. Ganda rin yung look na yun off the ball reversal. Zino zone up. Every time na magkakaroon ng interior passing, but good entry pass, bounce pass, pagunta sa kamay ni JL Capulong, single move na lang, binuhat na yung bantay. Escobedo, in and out on that shot. Miller. Miller will head to the line for two. Deceptive quickness, a little hesitation, change of gear, going to his right side. There you go, that's Bang Are. Probably the only guy who can walk safely in recto with that kind oh, of outfit. I, I have another guy that can walk safely in that outfit. <laughs> Kuya Bo Belga. He can walk in San Juan with chains. Paring po, di ba? The chains, eh. Well, when was the last time you walked along recto?
Eh, I walk a lot. The university I walk a lot. belt. I walk a lot there. <laughs> Dati din pa ako nagpapagawa ng CD yung mga kabatch ko. Sila Jim Viray kasi kabarkada ko. Yeah, yeah. So we used to hang out there sa space nila dyan. No, kasi pang Harrison Plaza yung mga nilalang araw. Uy, umaabot na ako dyan, ha? Yun ang malapit. Yun ang malapit sa'yo. Wow, oh, wala nang Harrison oh, Plaza. Wow. <laughs> Times have changed, oh. my friend. 8 <laughs> to 7. Those were the uh, the baseball days, my yeah, friend. <laughs> the baseball and softball days. Pero legendary yan pag uh, nandudong ka sa area na yun. Kasi dun yun talaga ang home ng NCAA, yung Rizal Memorial Coliseum. Oh, yeah. Then ako unang nakanood. Escobedo will head to the line for two. Grabe ito si Raymart Escobedo, no? Walang uh, tulak kabigin. Pagka hindi mo binol stop ng madiin, he will find a crease on that defense and he will force a shot going inside the shaded area. And when we come back, Escobedo will shoot two and the technical was... Or maybe it was a timeout. Let's, let's, let's find out when we come back. Now that we are officially in the second round of the men's basketball tournament in NCAA Season 100, let's take a quick look back at the games that shaped the first part of October here in our Week in Review. So, last October 1. No. Sanko rips out the board. The Benil Blazers survived a surprise attack Benil by San Sebastian. Has it. Five to shoot. Ancheta for the lead. Yes! So no technical, just a timeout called by our referees. And we have Father Virgilio Paredes, Junior OAR of San Sebastian College, Recoletos Mancom Rep. And now we have Escobedo at the free throw line. Parang ang chain din si Escobedo no, this year. Given more opportunities to be uh, a point of attack, a focal point of their offense. Silang dalawa ni uh, Paeng Are. I think that's the, their best five nga eh. Si uh, Nico, si Paeng, etong si Raymart. Tapos Philip Rico, tsaka isa dun sa gabat. Yung small ball nila. Three-point lead for San Sebastian. Miller. Capulo. Stands in a zone. Philip Rico gets the rebound after the stop. Cruz. TJ. Babalik ang bola sa Arellano. Valencia. Miller for three. And Miller drains it. Nice looking shot by Dre Miller. Of course, Bill Willie. Join the action here. As the first three-pointer and first deadlock of our ball game. Escobedo creates Ray some space. Escobedo. May na one-on-one -on -one lang. Bagay na bagay sa linggo yung uh, laro nito ni Escobito. Eh. Pagka pupunta ka ng park. Miller. To be annoying. Libre mula sa kanto. Pass ni Valencia. And good find there. Swing, swing. Getting uh, that corner shooter. And uh, Pass ni Valencia is a, uh, an important piece dito sa Arellano squad na to. Pagka maganda yung nilalaro niya, mas gumagaan yung trabaho ng mga kasama niya. Kaya laki na wing eh, no? Mga 6-3 din si Valencia eh. In and out on that shot. Miller. Hounded by Cruz. They go back down low to the big man. Oh! Kapulong loses his balance. Oh, na atat gumalaw si JL. Hindi pa dumarating yung post entry. Gusto na niyang pumihit. 
We have a timeout. Arellano has overtaken the Golden Stags 13 to 12. First month, we had a lot of off-season tournaments, training outside of the country, two times in Japan and Indonesia. So, we were able to help the off-the-court bonding and the gelling of the team. And we were prepared for Season 100. Thank you for the Season 100. It was so painful because we were finishing first in the elimination and then we were in the championship. Tapos parang one game away na lang kami para makuha yung championship. Dalawang sunod pa. There's that nice looking shot by Dre Miller. High arc just like his dad. And yep. Raymart Escobedo creating space. Basic na basic yan para kay Raymart. Uh -huh. So, maganda yung execution ng dalawang team. Both of these teams going to their strengths. Nakita natin kina Four Speed sa ilalim, si JL Kapulong. Sa kabila naman, nakaka-atake sila ng spread offense. Talking about Raymart Escobedo. Konting balasa ng tao ngayon. Lima yung pinasok ni Coach Arvin. And uh, ito namang Arellano switching their big guy, si Jay Libang. First time in the ballgame. Gabat. Uy, magnapitawan. Gusto nang i-jump hook. That's uh, Leo Velasco underneath the basket. Nakatingin na sa ring, di ba nasasali yung bola? Valencia. T-Mac. Bola na kay Miller. Vinoya wants it. Knowing that uh, medyo manipis yung bantay. Minama. Saka ang ganda rin ang skill set nito ni Ma'am Pinoya. Kita mo doon ha? Kasi usually, pagka nakakuha ng ganyan, extended wing, big guy, kasi combo forward din siya, pagka jumajab step, kita mo nakakuha niya yung space eh. When he jabs, ang laki nung jab step niya. And when he gets that into that dribble sa chest ng defender, mapapapakpedal ka. Ang bigat din kasi niya eh. Yung dad pala niya, tinanong ko sa kanya kanina eh, eskabatch nila Coach Topex during that after the fight beat. Yeah. Hindi ko kung inabutan pa sila Roy Falca Santos eh kasi yun yung batch, 'di ba? After nila Coach Topex, sila Kuya Jam Alfad na yung nag-champion at sunod. Fourteen to 12. Ayun, pagka niya ng high school. Si Basti Valencia at si Mix Pascual, nag-abot yan alam ko eh. Another turnover and Coach Arvin Bonneon gets up from his seat. Miller. At papalik ang bola sa San Sebastian. Oh, tumama sa likod ng sapatos ni Basti Valencia yung bola. At tingkat kasi na sapatos ni Basti. Kitang kita. Pink na pink. May ganyang huli ka bang sapatos, Todd? Ako meron ako gray and pink. Pero hindi ganyan. Ayan, matingkat na. Uso na eh, no? I am holding back from the sneaker talk. Bakit baka bang pagkili ka? Madali ka susulat eh. Nagpapaun lang ka agad eh. Geronimo picks up the loose ball. Pinagkwentuhan lang, mamaya meron na eh. <laughs> Valencia, binigay dito kay Earn J. Valencia to Vinoya. Bounce pass. Oh, Libang could not finish through the contact. Di natanganan ng maigi yung bola. Ramilo. And he scores from the right corner. Good kick out pass there. Next to scramble in defense underneath the basket. And right there, relocating on the corner was Ramilo for that three. Inside pass, Liba. Plus the foul. Nakabawi. 
Ito may ibang skill din eh, no? Medyo kailangan lang mag extra effort working on his body. Kasi he gets into that, into those spots. Nakakakuha siya parati every game. Yan yung mga cut niya. He just needs to be a little bit stronger in traffic. Dami niya mong finish na ganyan. For Troy Valencia. Si Maroon nung siya gumalaw eh. Napansin mo? And whenever Arellano plays, he would always get to spots that he can finish. Langan lang talaga magpalakas ng katawan. Offensive rebound and one effort. Cyril Hernal with a putback. That's fighting for every possession. Free throw is short. And then you have Cyril Hernal with a rebound and putback. Nobody boxing him out. Another guy that is important for their. Uh, defensive uh, schemes. Itong si Sai Hernal. Very athletic big guy that can switch to wing guys. Can hustle, play like that. Na, he doesn't give up on plays. Eh. Tama kayo na nakuha siya ng basket off on a crash board. Can switch on guards. Tapos, ano po eh, nakakainis kalaban kasi galaw ng galaw. San Sebastian, three plays already where they were unable to catch the ball properly and nobody Raul able to catch Gaba. Polo Gabat on that rin. steal and fast break. Yung Gabat na magkapatid pagka ginamit. Kailangan medyo maganda yung tanghalian mo rito para gitgitan talaga kayo eh. Borromeo, floater, Abiera, and another pair of free throws on the way for Arellano. Oh, yeah. Scrappy deep. Talking about Arellano, but active hands here by Polo Gabat. That, that's one thing that you should be uh, very, very careful with uh, San Sebastian. May league sila gumampol sumundot. May league sila mag-ball pressure, play the passing lanes. So, bibigay ka ng pasa. Kailangan crispy. Diretso agad dun sa target. Abiera, six, the free throw. Arellano up by three, 55.9 seconds to go. Pascual. Triple on the way. It's up and in. We are tied. Second three-pointer by Ramilo. Good looking jumper. Get an art to be down there, lefty pa. Another scorer, itong si Abiera. Abiera steps back for three, is short. And CJ Lima gives Arellano another possession. He gets into those spots, he gotta finish it. And it would be a very good uh, showcase for him. Because he can get boards and he can get into spaces. Eh. May oras pa ang Arellano dito. Renzo Abiera with a finish! Renzo, Renzo Abiera. All confident top five in the NCAA. And Arellano leads San Sebastian 22 to 20.